Happy New Year guys, uh, welcome back and here is some of the bits I've been kind of uh, working up to over, you know, this year. But fuck. Hold your tongue, hold my sword, do not speak. Hi, welcome and welcome back and Happy New Year everyone. Um, in the start of the new year now, uh, my wife's just come back from India after a couple of weeks. And I uh, just wanted to show you guys what I've been up to over them a couple of weeks, hands on wise. Um, best place to start is, first off is this 18 scale six wheeler Nitro is now in the shed. Um, I've epoxied up the top, what was it, JB Weld, that was what you guys call it, JB Welded the top. JB welded this, JB welded this onto the chassis so it's pretty solid and that way the back pressure can't spit it off and uh, they're hooked up with some pretty strong cable ties and that looks pretty solid so I'm hoping the back pressure is now sorted on this and this is ready for another start up test. Um, next to it we have the beginning of what is going to be the scale warehouse build. Uh, you can see the yellow cones on the right there, they're leading um, they're going to be the roadways into a little car parking lot here and you can see the pipes they're going to be like a little 110 scale sewage system and uh, that little tub there is going to be where the water drains into and that pipe's going to be pumping the water out of that tub up um, a hose pipe onto the ceiling it's going to be dropping down and I'm going to cement over the top of this so the rain will drop onto the cement fall into the sewer system back into the tub and keep cycling round and that valve there which was 10 whole pounds for a valve fish tank valve and not an open close valve shocking for a tenner couldn't do anything to get around it um, that'll be going in the uh, tub there so when I want to drain the system for fresh water and stuff and dry it off um, I can just drain it all from the valve into a bucket or maybe into my cutting box so yeah they're gonna there's gonna be a couple of car park spaces cemented over uh, that's going to be a ramp leading into the warehouse going down that little two red lines going upwards will be um, also a scale sewer where I want to put like grills over it so you see the water going in but the water doesn't bypass it to go down the ramp so and here we have a transformer to run some old school bulbs because they're 12 volt bulbs and I can use these as a dimmer switch that way um, to uh run everything rather than using LEDs which is a bit more tricky and uh, a pain so uh, we've got that as the scale warehouse part going down that's beginning I make some videos of that on its own of the scale warehouse build make uh, some videos of this bad boy when it's up and running and I've got it started and while I'm getting it started and which leads me on to the next one which is the brick cutting and as you can see patched up where the grinder tried to kill me last year and done the same in there. I put a new stand in because what happened is the stand here for the nine inch grinder snapped. I was pulling too hard it would seem and then it, it just snapped on me. So I've put a new um, gr grinder stand in there and uh, it's all set, calibrated and ready to go. Put some perspex sheets to help the water dribble back down into the emptying chambers and I've opened up them up a bit to get a good flow of water coming out as fast as it's going in. Um, it's a lovely new wheel on here and you can see this cool little hand Bosch thing that you tighten up onto the blade rather than using the old school spanners a lot of you guys might be familiar with. Uh, so that's the brick cutting side of things and that as you guys probably know cuts this type of stuff to give you this which then comes out here onto the bins and there's going to be another one of these wet saws which is the rulers calibrated to cut different the brick slices chunks into different slices and eventually into bricks which is leads me down to here and you can just see a load of bricks starting there it's about an hour's work uh, while it's going on and while I'm here I can just show you this thing that's sneaking up and these are my uh, paper pies my, my idea is because here in Manchester we don't get very good uh, solar from the sun and we don't get good wind um, I wanted to do paper pies which is uh, waste paper shredded with a shredder turned into a pie using water and this mixer which a uh, plasterer would probably use uh, for mixing the plaster um, and then once they're redder 
I want to put them in a wood burner, cast iron wood burning stove, which I'll put over here, which I'll put there. That's why I've left a gap there, and the flue should come out of there, over there. And when the paper pies go into the wood burner, and they burn away, I want to see if I can put a little steam turbine on top of the wood burner, so it turns a little generator and see if it can create electric, which will power a few things. Um, that's the best I've got for renewables in Manchester. Uh, spam through the, the post and random letters and stuff, but there's that much paper around here. Still a possibility, which leads me on to the next update, which is my little grow station there for the Dynaea. Uh, you can see from the last video how the top ones are still running nice. Now the power supply is now in a little box of its own to keep the moisture out. And you can see I've put a second row under here. And I've put another row right at the bottom, but I've put a five wide, six wide row. Uh, slightly wider at the bottom because it covers a bit more space. And um, what I'm just waiting for is I want to do an update video on how I've been wiring this up and messing with it. And I'm just waiting for two of these AT power supplies, which are down there. And I want to mess about with those to get them running in parallel so I can connect them together and they produce 500 watts, say, rather than a couple of hundred watts they're producing now. But I'll go into that more in depth in that video uh, in case you guys aren't interested in the growing and stuff. But um, yeah, we've got growing station, paper pies, bricks, brick station. Uh, all the perspex is now done. Moggy keeps walking all over the top of it so it's pretty strong and it's survived a couple of crappy storms we've had over the last month or two so that's looking pretty good and we've got warehouse coming on 118 scale uh, six wheeler nitro coming on and all of this lot down here which is now back up and working nicely again so um, yeah uh, keep an eye out for my next videos and I did want to make a video after this which will be how to apply my decals onto um, you know different things like uh, boards and stuff uh, they're the old school airfix decals so I nuked out when I've been said into them not really um, explain myself properly so do keep an eye out for that if you are going to receive a couple of decals thanks for watching thanks for checking in keep an eye out for the 18 scale the cutting the bricks and the few other bits I've got going on thanks for watching catch us up see you soon